Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video. And in today's video, guys, we're going to be going over a small preview on what we could possibly receive on the next update coming to Destiny Child. So as you guys have seen on the Lisa's calendar beforehand, we are receiving the Salone World boss next after the Ragnar break ends. So the Ragnar break ends in about three days, four days or so. And I just wanted to make a little video here on the Japan actual update note from when they received the Salone World boss and basically give you guys a small preview on what we could expect to come to the global side for the Salome World Boss. So let's get into the Japan update note and then we'll go into the child that we are expected to receive with the Salome World Boss. So we can see here we have the June 27th update note information for the Japan side. You can see here this is 2019 actually and the translations might not all be perfect because this is just Google Translate. But let's see what we can gather from this update note. So we can see here, thank you for playing the game, Destiny Child Management Team. You can see here basically the summary of what they received. So they got the World Boss Trial Devil Pass update. We got a 5 star Navi single pickup summon. So this is the expected child that we should receive with the Salome World Boss. You can see here a 5 star Daphnis single pickup summon held. Now Daphnis is a wood type character and she is pretty good for world boss so we could expect to see this summon as well maybe we can see here uh, maiden pickup summon will be held I believe this is Navi we have the five star wood attribute blood gem summon so we currently have this right now so we won't be receiving this along the next update because we already have this we have updated shop lineup so obviously new shop packages will be coming with the next maintenance we have new mission pass missions held so new mission passes always come with the world boss and events in general we have the story chapter 1 8 hard open so we could possibly be receiving a new hard version of the chapter 1 story so that would be good for more crystals and just a better place to farm during hot time etc so you can see here the next little tab here we have world boss trial held so they're kind of just advertising the slow world boss here renewed appear two. we can see here the devil pass season 15 now we are not on season 15 we're like way beyond season 15 for global so but we'll obviously receive a new devil pass as well with the slow world boss coming you can see here the five star navi single pickup summon so this is the expected child that we'll be receiving with the Salome world boss now you can see your five star tree attribute blocking type navi is a child that possesses a new skill growth that is exclusive to the world boss and reduces enemy weakness defense power depending on the number of allies with tree attributes so basically what this is saying that the growth ability will decrease the enemy's defense power depending on the number of wood type allies that you have in your team so she's a wood type character and she will help against water type world bosses so we'll be going over her skills in a bit i actually have it here on the second tab after we go over the rest of this update note we consider the five star deafness pickup summon held now i do expect this to come with our updates so if you guys do need deafness uncapped she has actually been a previous world boss of ours but if you don't have her plus six, she is very good for world boss. I have heard from the Destiny Child Discord as well as just her skills in general. So if we do receive this banner, it might be worth trying to pick up a copy of her because we would probably be receiving a guaranteed upon summoning banner for her character. Now you can see her a dual pickup summon. This is pretty basic with a new child and, they, and then they include a old child as well. So if you guys would want to summon on this banner if we do receive this it would probably be worth because both childs are amazing for world boss from what the skills of navi seems to be now you can see here the five star tree attribute child blood gem summons held now we have this already so this is basically a blood gem pickup summon for for wood type characters exclusively now that is pretty much the update note you can see here just more mission pass available you can see here story chapter 1a hard open so we could expect a new hard story mode to be open as well i do believe this will come because we have been a little delayed on a new hard version of the story now that is pretty much it and we will also 
receiving the pitta pat sea tree that i have gone over in a previous video so i'll link it up here at the top if you guys haven't seen that we've gone over her skills in the previous video so if you guys would like to know what she does potentially do when she does arrive in global so that is the japan update note on what we could potentially expect with the salon world boss update now we'll get into navi skills because there's pretty much a 90% chance like a 99% chance that Navi will come with Salome. So let's get into Navi's skills and what we could expect when she does arrive. Now you guys can see here Navi is a wood type debuffer. She's a 5 star unit. You can see her ratings here on the rice mine Japan side. She is a 7 in PvE, a 6 in PvP, a 7 in Ragnarok, and of course a 10 in world boss. So she is a pretty dominant debuffer for a water type world boss. We can see her later skill here, water type enemies minus 15, debuff evasion for world boss only, weak point defense minus 15%. So I believe this is a minus 15% debuff evasion. So pretty good leader skill for water type world bosses. You can see her auto attack damage deals 102 damage to the target. Her tap skill deals 394 damage to target and a weak point defense minus 30%. For 10 seconds so basically what you can gather from her leader skill as well as her tap skill all she wants to do is make sure that the enemy takes more damage with a weak point defense so reduce defense and allows your attacker units to put on more damage onto the world boss etc so our slide skill here prioritizing water type enemies deals 675 damage to two targets debuff evasion minus 15% debuff duration extended by 23% for 12 seconds long. Now this is a huge help on the world boss as it increases the time of debuffs on how long they last onto the world boss. We can see here for world boss only, weak point defense minus 1.5% for every wood type allies in the party, max times 10 for 12 seconds. Now this is the world boss characteristic for slide skill on based on how many wood type allies you have on your team. She will decrease the weak point defense for minus 1.5% for every wood type ally at a cap of 10. For 12 seconds long. Now you should have enough you wood type units to make the most of this slide skill. So if you guys do summon for her, which I would definitely recommend. Now you don't have to summon for her to complete the world boss, but if you guys do want the boost for the world boss coins, etc., then I would recommend summoning for Navi. I can see her drive skill deals 2031 damage to three random enemies and weak point defense minus 30% and debuff duration extended by 40% for 16 seconds long. Now basically Navi is pretty much a staple for world boss units when you're facing up against the water type bosses now i would recommend summoning for her because she seems like a staple basically all the previous world boss child boost units have been kind of a staple for future world bosses as well so it wouldn't hurt to summon for them but if you guys are preparing your crystals or maybe the next ragnarok or narrative dungeon etc it's okay to skip this banner because eventually you will get this unit now if you would like to perform well in the world boss i would definitely recommend summoning for her and maybe try and get some uncaps but she isn't essential to summon for right now but it's up to you guys ultimately now if you guys would like to do well like i've said i would at least try to get one copy of her and then maybe place it into hor etc if you guys have a slot open for her all right guys so that is a small preview on what we could expect with the upcoming salon world boss update i hope you all enjoyed the video and feel free to let me know in the comments below on what you think of the potential new unit navi as always thank you all so much for watching and if you haven't already make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more Destiny Child content. With that being said, I'll see you guys on the next Destiny Child video.